Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, we're taking a look at the Aftershocks X Trainer bone conducting headphones. That is quite a mouthful. But though it might be a mouthful, these things are exceptionally light. Um, as you can see, I've got them on at the minute. Um, I'm delighted to say they only weigh 30 grams, but I'm interested to see what listening to music while I'm outdoor swimming is like. Now, a couple of precautions I've taken. Um, I'm going to be swimming along a beach where probably the only traffic I will see will be um, beachgoers. Um, it's not an area where there's a lot of traffic from boats, so um, I'll set that to one side to begin with. But being bone conducting and then going right through here, the sound will be going through my uh, cheekbones, leaving my ears open to listen for what's going on. However, of course, as usual, I will be wearing some earplugs. I'm going to test the ones that Aftershocks included in the, um, uh, in the box, uh, as well as my own. I might do one in each ear just to see so I can give a bit of a com comparison. So as I'm finishing my little wet suited stroll down to the beach, I'll let you take a look at uh, a little bit that I videoed earlier about what's in the box. So uh, nice to see it comes with a two year warranty and that it is fully waterproofed. I've got this nice little pouch to keep them in. Ooh, feels really, really soft. That is beautifully made. So we've got the X Trainers MP3 headphones. Got the charging cable, some uh, ear for, uh, earplugs for swimming, got a silicon carry case for the whole lot, got the user guide and then a warranty card. So here we have it. This is really nice and light feeling. Very light. So as you can see, this will hook around my ears over the top and this part is going to sit on top of my cheekbone for the sound. First impression, lovely quality feeling. Very interesting product. I am can't wait to give these a go. Now, before I can get going, I need to charge it up. So I need to open up the little charger. And then there are some little terminal dots there. And we need to line up what they call the pogo pins, those four dots on there with the four dots on here. And, uh, See how easy that is to do. Ah, it lines up nicely. There's a little dent there for it. So then I can lock it together and plug it into the wall. I tell you what, these look like absolutely peachy conditions for getting in and testing out these headphones. Take a look at how flat it is. I mean, you might not be able to spot that, but I can certainly see it. And uh, the lack of wind down the beach makes this look like a fairly dreamy swim. Something I will say is that most of the time when I'm swimming, I just like to listen to nature. So I tend not to listen to any music. However, I have been finding that on those longer swims where I'm doing a training swim and I'm in for, I don't know, two or three hours, then actually I think a little bit of music might well help me along. So um, this is gonna be an interesting little test. You might have to excuse the background noise here. I've got, I'm sat on a, a few rocks of the um, breakwater and there's a little bit of sloshing around, but it's the best I can do where there's some wind. Right, the first thing I need to do is figure out how this is going to go on and be comfortable under a hat. Does it go completely under a hat? Do I have, um, uh, so is this strap completely covered or will it stick out the bottom? What I'm worried about is the interaction with my wetsuit. So uh, let's have a look. I brought a, a number of hats with me to try to get one that fits neatly. All right, let's give it a go. I know I haven't got my, my uh, earplugs in yet, but I'll do that in a moment. So. Okay, not comfortable. <laughs> let's see about... That feels quite, that feels <laughs> quite comfortable. 
people can see from my little camera that I look idiotic. But, okay, so sticking out the back, that's not bad. In actual fact, I think it's going to be well clear of the back of my wetsuit. So it's sitting there quite nicely, just on my cheekbones. I don't know if it's going to flush water through my hat, but I'll let you know about that later. Um, but it feels pretty comfy. Well, that was really cool. I just met a lady called Melissa who I've had um, some Facebook correspondence with recently and she just said that watching my videos has got her into outdoor swimming and she's just about to get in. Oh I love it when I speak to people who've seen the videos. Oh that's made my day. Right better get on and switch these ones on and uh, have a little listen to some music. So relatively easy should be able to find it middle dot Great, that was water straight into my goggles, I think. <laughs> right, let's find it. Oh yeah, there we go, it's on. It's pretty cool, it tells you the battery's high. Um, I've got my own earplug in on this side and I've got the Aftershocks free earplug in on the other side. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Gotta get my goggles sorted. Well, so now first impression, you can probably hear the, um, the waves just hitting those rocks, and so can I. That is interesting. Chuff with that. Right, let's get cracking. Well, I am loving this so far. The um, time is speeding by, earplugs wise, I'd say the Aftershocks ones are better than my Zogs ones. Um, certainly feel a bit more comfy. Well, the jury's got to be out a little while on that because I love my Zogs ones. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. This is lovely. I think I'm a convert. Now, something I might have to play with is the angle of dangle, or the angle of dangle of this. Because while I'm swimming, it doesn't interact at all. But when I sight, I can feel it catching on the collar and then that rubs the top of my ears. So I'm gonna have a little play with my hat, see if I can sort that out. And I'll call back in a few minutes. Right, I've had a little bit of a ferret around under the hat. See if you can spot the difference. So, it's just here, underneath my hat. So let's see what that gives. Off we go. So it's going well so far. Um, a few minutes ago I thought that the music was a little bit too loud and so it was really easy just to reach in and press the button which gives you a beep so you know that it has altered the sound and um, yeah super easy to do just a reach in one dot done. Very very easy to use while you're swimming buttons are easy to locate. I guess if it was cold it would be harder because you wouldn't feel as much bits of seaweed on me. Um, but I'm finding it really easy and very well, relaxing and motivational which is not something I'd expected at all. I guess time to carry on a bit more. So I've had no sound interruption, no issues. I have got it on something called swim mode. Sound is absolutely fantastic, really clear, and um, 
yeah amazing really surprising experience for me I'm gonna carry on enjoying my tunes on the way back at the beach oh, on the way back along the beach well here I am at the end of the swim the music's kept me entertained for the whole time I guess I've been in I don't know maybe an hour and a half uh, could be a bit longer I'm not really sure um, but yeah no uh, skipping of the beat with the music which was great and um, top product very happy with that oh, I'll give you a few more of the technical specs once I get out and I can make sure the sound quality is better as you can see I've still got the um, cross trainers on I don't know they call cross trainers or X trainers anyway they're made by Aftershocks who have sent me them to test and I think it's probably worthwhile giving a few of the technical bits of information that go with it they are IP68 which makes them waterproof up to two meters so although we might be enjoying the music while we're swimming along don't be tempted to dive down for something you spot on the floor if you're more than uh, standing depth I guess um, they only weigh 30 grams which is why rather than putting them dirty into the lovely little case I'm going to keep them on and uh, just wear them to drive back home before I can give them a bit of a rinse off and uh, and pop them back in the bag once they're dried um, it isn't a Bluetooth set so I had to upload the music by um, loading music onto my computer and then using the USB you know the one we use for charging that set up uh, it just makes another hard drive effectively um, so you just you just plug it into your computer and it will pick it up and then you just move the tunes across which was really simple to do um, and it takes about 1200 songs I think there's uh, four megs of um, sorry four gigs of memory inside of this and obviously as easy it is to put them on you could also take the tunes off if you felt that 1200 wasn't enough or you wanted to change what's on there well on my drive home I had plenty of time to have a think about my um, thoughts on the cross trainer bone conducting headphones and I must say I'm impressed by the product what I would say the things that I liked about it were um, it feels so very nice and soft and it's so lightweight you can't really feel it while it's on your head the sound quality is great and um, it's really easy to use the the buttons at the bottom in order to change the volume the tunes the switch it on and off and all the rest of it the one drawback I would say for swimming uh, especially in open water would be that once you've got the earplugs in and the music going um, your appreciation of ambient sound is much lower than I initially thought when I was stood by those rocks I didn't hear the kids uh, squawking on the beach that uh, that I did when I switched the sound off so that tells me that there's um, certainly a loss of ambient sound which is fine in an area where there isn't much traffic and uh, like like where I was swimming the other day and perhaps in a managed facility um, and it would certainly work really well in a swimming pool but I wouldn't want to use them somewhere where there was uh, a lot of traffic or things that I'm definitely using my ears to keep myself safe. So super product, really motivational to listen to music and I'll certainly be using it again for my training swims but I'll be careful whereabouts I'm doing it and, uh, and think about what level of uh, ambient sound I need. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll give it a like and drop me a comment. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to look into or if there's any particular topics you'd like me to cover. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face, <laughs> clicking, not licking, and uh, dinging the bell to see when the no notifications come out and you'll know when the next one's there. See you next time.